Here we go with some more tricks. What we've been doing so far is that we're giving you procedures and techniques so that you can solve easy to medium puzzles. Hope you're having fun. Okay, let me show you what's going to happen now. In this example, I've got a three numbers all in a row in this row here or in, in, in that block. Here we have three numbers all in, in a column in this block. When you find that in a puzzle, what effect does it have in terms of helping you to solve or making it more difficult to solve? Let's have a look at this. Fives. Now this is a very important thing I'm going to explain to you. A five, we've only got one five. However, if we put it there and there, we cannot do it that way because there's no room for a five on the left. This is a right, center, left, no room there. That line of three stops you from doing that. So you cannot have a five there or there. It must be there because there's room for it to go up there. So here we go, we put a five. So there's one, the first example of how one number can help you get the other numbers in the other blocks. So that's a five. That's important to know. Now let's take a six. We've got a six here. We've got a sixes down in here. Uh, we know we can't put a six in there. So the only other two places in this block for a six is there and there. Now that's very important because using right, center, and left, we know that sixes have to be in here, in this section of this block. But when I look across here, you could say, well, six, six, six all the way down, but there's a six here, so that cancels out a six here. There's a six here, so this cancels out a six here. So that's the only place a six can go, so we put a six, big six in there. Now we did that because we understood that that's the only two places a six can go in this block. So they can't go here because there's a six there. And this is the way in which you can use just one number to get other little numbers and big numbers. Okay, sevens. Well, we have two sevens, a center, a left, so this becomes a seven. Well, that's already completed that box. Eights. We have two eights. We have an eight here on the left, right. It has to be in the center, so this is no longer six because we've got our six. That becomes the eight. Now we have a line there too. Okay, now, nines. Let's look at the nines. We only have one nine, but now I'm going to do the same thing as we did for the sixes here. Yes, we only have one nine, but you know you can't have a nine in here in this block. It has to be over here. It should be there or there. Okay, but let's very briefly, we put it there, it looks like a matching pair, which it is, but look over here, we have a nine. So that changes things immediately. This becomes the three, and this becomes the nine. Now we have a nine possible down in here. We have a two nine and a two nine, middle, right, left. But I want to show you something here. This nine could be, we could do it, use what we call uh, ramifications. Can we? We really can't yet. Okay, what about the nine that we put in here? Can we do ramifications of that one? I think we can. We have a nine there, we have a nine there. One of these two has got to be a nine. Okay, fine. What else ramifications can we get from those numbers that we got? Seven. No, there's no luck there. Um, eights. We uh, eight, 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 we've got the eights there. What other new numbers did we get? Five, five. Well, I can tell you something here. This is so important. That five means you can't have a five there and there. And in this block, the only place a five can go is there or there. Now that's really important and you'll see why later. Okay, sixes we did, six, six, six. Let me see, I'm just making sure that we covered all the ramifications of those. Right, I think we have, so let's push on to this column. We have ones, we have a one here, we have a one here. The only place for a one is there. And you can check that out, we have a one, 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 that, that fits. 
twos, we only have one two, leave it. Threes, we have a three here and we have a three here. Now this is an important thing to do. Because we have a left and we have a right, we have a three here, so we can only put a little three in there and there, because there's no other threes along this way, there's no other threes along this way. Fours, there's no fours, well I never. Fives, now comes to what I was saying before. We um, have a choice here. We can do a five here or here, but if you've got two fives there, it's going to be one of those, so it can't be there. Just for fun, I'm going to show you a neat trick here. This row, we know how to handle this row. What's left in that row? One, there's a two left, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that right? Two nine and a two nine? They're, they're a matching pair. If that's a two nine and a two nine, this is a two here. Look at that two. That means it cancels out that two, so this becomes a nine, and therefore this becomes a two. Now let's look at these fives again, and you'll see what I'm, what I'm talking about. These fives, we can have, we cannot have a five in the middle here, anywhere, because if it is in the middle, this line of three numbers stops it from happening. There's no room for it. So the only place for a five to go, therefore, is over here. And that's important to understand. When you have a five here, you cannot have a five here because, well, you can't have it there because it's in the same column. You can't have a five there because, anywhere there, because that line stops it from going over to the left. Remember, right, center, left. No room for it. So it goes right, left, center. New concept, but very valuable to know. Okay, sixes. We have a six here, and we have a six here, so we could have a six in the, each, each one of these. Yes, it can, it's in a line, within a block, you can do that. Sevens. Well, this is interesting. We could have a seven somewhere in here, but wonder where? Well, let's find out, we'll give ourselves a clue. There's a six here and a six here. What's the other number that could be there? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's got to be a seven. So if I do that, now, let's see what happens. Six, seven is a matching pair. That could be a seven, but that cannot be a seven. So here's one example where we can have a, a seven, a three numbers, but no more. That's it. Okay, um, eight. Here's an eight on the left. Eight. One of these is an eight. It cannot be there because of that eight, so it goes there. Very good. Nine. We have a nine on the left, nine on the right. The center, it has to be in the center. There it goes there. What has that ramification got? This nine means that this becomes a two and this becomes a nine. What's the ramification of that? Let's have a look. Well, we've got the twos are already in place. The two here, we don't, know about, we don't know where else we can go, but we know we can't put a two there because we've already got a two. In this block, there is only two spots for the two and it cannot go there, so it must, by logic, go there. Now, this is interesting because when we look very quickly, we've got several gaps that we can fill in. This block has only got one left. This block has only got one left. This column has only got one left. So let's fill it in while we see the opportunity. This is a one, two, three, uh, four. This column needs a four. Okay, does that have any ramifications? Well, guess what? In this block, the only one that's missing is a four. One, two, three, four. This has to be a four. So we filled in that block and that column. We've got this column filled, as, filled in as well. Now this column has only got one left. Wonder what that is. One, two, three. It's also a four, I believe. Is that correct? It's also a four. Okay. If it's also a four, 
uh, we put it in. Now, what's the ramification of that four? We go four, four. This one here has to be a four. Okay, but did you realize we have a seven here already? That means that this has to be a six. I didn't see that before. Okay, so that becomes a six. If that becomes a six, this becomes a seven. And therefore, you can cancel out this seven and we finish up with a matching 3636 three, six matching pair. That's going to be helpful later on. And while we're at it, this is an interesting situation because here we could have two matching pairs. Here's a four, here's a four, left, right. Could four has to go in there. We can put a four, five in there if we want to and make it a. So whenever you see two cells left in a row, column or block, work on them. Now we were up to eights here and now we did the nines. Now we're ready to do the vertical columns over here. Ones are all done. Twos, we only have twos. Well now, this is interesting, two, two, two. We only have two, one, two. I think we'll go on to threes. Here's two, there's a three here on the left. Here's a three here in the center. The three has to go over here. Now look what the ramification of that is. Watch here closely. That three will cancel out this three. So therefore, this becomes a six. Okay, that six now is no longer needed. So this becomes a three. And we've completed a block, just like that. Okay, let's test this out. Three, 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 yeah. Six, six. Now, as you can six can go down in here, because that is a six, nine matching pair. Now, that six, top, middle, has to go in here somewhere. Now, let's look up. Let's look up here. Oh, there's a six there. So that cancels that six out. So this becomes a nine, and this becomes a six. Now that block has only got one left. I wonder what it is. Let's have a, let's have a check. A one, a two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. It's a seven. And we can check that out by looking up here, bottom, um, middle, top, bottom. That's correct. Here we have a left, center. A seven has to be up here. Now it can't be in one of those two, but it can't be there because of this seven. So this becomes your seven. A couple of more questions have come in. Let me tell you about this one. This person says, do you recommend uh, books or uh, puzzles or computer sites or the newspaper? Well, my personal opinion is that I prefer books. Um, the, there are many, many ways of going on the computers uh, and doing Sudoku puzzles, but I have found you've got to be careful. Some of them make it too easy for you to cheat. For example, uh, if you put a wrong number in, it flashes, and then, then you know, now know that that's wrong, so you maybe I've got one other number, but you've got to be able to prove that, in fact, that number is the correct number, and you've worked it out through logic. Which brings me to this other question that came up. Um, can you have two answers in a Sudoku puzzle? No, you can't. The idea in Sudoku puzzles is that you will never put a big number in unless you know for sure that's the only place it can go. If you're doing a puzzle and suddenly you find that you've got two numbers or a number repeated in a row or a column or a block, you may not know where that happened. You may, may, may as well give it up and try another one.